The 2023 Nathan's Famous 4th of July International Hot Dog Eating Contest continues the 100 plus year tradition in style again this year. And I'm honored to have in studio, Miki Sudo. Oh, you don't know these credentials? Check it out. She's the number one ranked woman and ranked third in the major league eating. She's also one of three women in the top 25 and she's won eight Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Championships. Show them the belt, please show them. Just, just show them the belt real quick. And before we get into the first, con uh, first, before we get into the first uh, question, why is it eight of nine? Please tell the guests. Uh, so I'm back for my tenth year, but this is only my ninth belt. I missed 2021 for the only acceptable reason: I was 36 weeks pregnant okay. at the time. Only acceptable reason. You can only be pregnant <laughs> if you're going to miss Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Still couldn't keep me away. I got to serve as guest commentator on ESPN, so I was there in spirit. Mm, mic drop. All right, here we go. This year, 2023, new year, same food, glizzies again. I'm guessing it's the same goal. So what are your thoughts going into this year's competition? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I feel I, like I'm more prepared than ever. I don't want to make any promises. Um, I'm, I really want to hit that 50 mark. Um, so it's just going to be really up to me to set that personal record. I'll be fighting really hard. Well, let's talk about that personal record because, last year, like we said, you came back from pregnancy. You only got... 40 dogs last mm -hmm. year still won it humble brag but uh your personal best 48 and a half you're saying 50 is where you're trying to go please look in the camera and tell us will you beat your personal record 50 i'm coming for you Ooh. um i've done it at home and that's the thing it's not an unattainable goal i've done it at home i think i just i tense up on stage i'm switching up my technique a little bit actually to hopefully be a little bit faster and smoother out the gate and i'm hoping it pays off wait when you say you do it at home your husband competes as well so y'all just be sitting there on the couch watching Netflix and glizzies or like, like how does that, how do you practice at home? No, no, it's not that glamorous. Um, but we do do like full hot dog runs. I, I mean, I love having a practice partner in the okay. house. Yeah, we, we cook up like in that case, 100 plus hot dogs, go at it against wow. each other. Um, and then we clean up the whole thing. That's, that's quite the grocery list right there. It's a very romantic Friday night or a Sunday <laughs> fun day. Yeah. All right. Um, so what's that like? having your boo in the same industry obviously from just the competition standpoint but support but all that all that yeah i mean it, honestly meeting nick on the circuit um it like rejuvenated my interest and my passion for competitive eating okay. it made it fun again because i started this as a single person and then like you know all those years in uh, seven years in i met him and i got to do it as a couple and now we travel and do competitions um bringing max along so it's okay. like a family thing um, but yeah, he's incredibly supportive. But with that said, we're incredibly competitive. I don't like the drive home after beating him because he's just in a sour mood. Really? But yeah, yeah. We both we hate losing even more than we enjoy winning. So you can imagine how that's the household. You're like, oh, cheer up, honey. It'll be all right. He doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to hear it. As you hold the belt. <laughs> so what's I mean, when you guys cook at home, like what's dinner like? Like, like it's. Just, yeah. Fast, like how I explain no, that. That's probably another big misconception. We we don't and we can't eat like this all the time. Okay. And right. probably another reason we were drawn to each other, because like we lived on opposite ends of the country, but the contents of our fridge could have been identical. Wow. Thirty calorie on almond milk, pre cooked boneless, skinless chicken breast, you know, non fat plain Greek yogurt. It's just like all the basic things that we eat on a daily basis are like healthy, plain and kind of the same. Interesting. Like every professional athlete out there really would take care of the, the Derek Jeters, mm -hmm. the LeBron James, they all take care of their bodies like in between the competitions you and all. Now, your, your, your son, uh, what's that like bringing him to competitions and getting him being able to see mom and dad compete and dominate their field? Yeah, first of all, he's not going to follow in our footsteps. We're going to... You sure about yeah, that? No, no. Bodybuilding, competitive eating off the table. We love things like <laughs> traveling, working out, and schoolwork, so I'm hoping he takes on one of those endeavors instead. Um, but with that said, it's so much fun to bring him to contests. Like, I think it's just cool to be able to show him, like, you know, we can push ourselves and do kind of things out of the box and um, have fun, work hard. And, you know, these are some of the, the benefits. We get to travel to cool places. That's awesome. As a first time dad, like I, I thank you very much. Like I look at what, what you were telling me you know, off camera about mm -hmm. him being able to see you guys. And all. I mean, that's just what it's about. Your, your kid being able to see what mom and dad does and that helps 
helps kind of, you know, navigate them in life and show them that mom and dad are cool. You know, mom and dad are cool. <laughs> oh or we're just going to be really weird and he's going to pretend he doesn't know us. But yeah, he's a really well-traveled baby and he's gotten to meet people from all walks of life nice. because of what we do. Nice. So. All right. So let's go back talking about this competition. That's Nathan's International. Mm -hmm. uh, what's different? this year do you feel like and kind of talk about some of the international competitors that are coming in this year yeah so the nathan's famous fourth of july hot dog eating contest has always had an international component but i want to say this year more than at least in the 10 years that i've been doing this we have more international competitors than than ever before so wow. we've got three from japan um two on the men two on the men's side one on the female side um we have a representative from the czech republic uh wow. australia the uk brazil so the list goes on. Oh, Canada. So, I mean, it's a really diverse, um, competitive field. Do you ever, because you're the haunted now, you've been the haunted for quite some time. Are you just used to that pressure of everyone's gunning for you? Or is that still jazz you up, get you motivated before oh, you go? I love the pressure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the crowd pumps me up and keeps me going. They, they you know, fuel my adrenaline and all of that. But, I mean, I, I would love to have someone on the women's side really just, like, kind of like bite at my heels, nip okay. at my heels and push me even further. Um, with that said, while I don't compete head to head against the guys, I always, I always have in my mind, I never want to be beat by somebody ranked lower than me, right? Okay. Oh. So like, there's Joey Chestnut, there's Jeff Esper. I don't want anybody else to beat me in hot dog numbers because I'm ranked third, right? That's just, that's just going against what's natural. So uh, yeah. You mentioned women. There's no one really on your heels. Would you like to see more women involved in the sport? Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, uh, like for myself personally, I was so nervous walking into my first head-to-head -head competition, right? It was ribs and uh, it was, was going to be like 30-something people competing. I was so self-conscious because I wasn't a pro. It was my first thing. I, I felt like I was going to be laughed out of the building. Um, you know, people are going to take pictures with rib sauce on my face. I ended up winning the whole thing. So it wasn't until I had that little like spark and that little boost of confidence that I was really fueled to, to take this on as a career. So if more women would be willing to try it, they might discover that they're good at it and really end up in the pro level. When you win number nine <laughs> this you. year, um, where does that put you? Where, do you, where, do you, where does that put you not only in, in like competitive food mm -hmm. or speed eating, but just athletically with the LeBron Jameses, the Serena Williams, where do you put Miki Sudo? I, I mean, I'm honored for the comparison. You, uh, you, you, you're you holding know. the belt. You're holding the belt right now. Don't give me that humbleness right Thank now. Don't you. give me the humbleness. I, I mean, I, LeBron might be kind of a stretch. I mean, but, uh, you know, with that said, where does it put me? It puts me in the most belts to have been won consecutively on the hot dog stage um, because Joey, as you know, won, or lost in 2015 to Matt Stoney. So by collecting my ninth belt, I'll have the most consecutive winnings. Um, so that's pretty cool. I am still the only undefeated champion on the Nathan stage. So it's another a little accolade. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's just... Um, you know, every every year just poses new challenges and I have new goals, and uh, I'm just super happy to be back. That day when you hang up, like, what do y'all have? Like, athletes, like football players, we hang up our cleats. Like, mm -hmm. what, what do y'all hang oh, up? Oh, I, I don't know. For retirement. Yeah, like, we're, right? We're, we're like, we, we need to think of that. But that day where you yeah. hang up mm -hmm. the glizzy, I don't know, uh, or the hot dog or the ribs or whatever, when you hang up, your, when you retire and you look back, at your career and all of your accomplishments, what's the one or two things you want to make sure that you don't have now that you've accomplished before you retire? Um, I guess that that 50 mark in hot dogs. Okay. Yeah, right. I think that would be. But you know, I'm, I'm, then I'm just going to set a new goal, and you know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a true competitor. Well, the Nathan's famous Fourth of July International Hot Dog Eating Contest goes down July 4th, and it's going to be televised on ESPN. We have the champ in the building. We thank you for coming in. We want you to get 50. We'll all be watching. And I put you up there with the LeBron James, Serena Williams, Derek Jeters, because what you're doing is unprecedented. And you're truly a, a, a staple in this sport, a pioneer in this sport. So good luck. Thank you so much for having me.